the average man, that's a thankless job because he's building the roads, building your car, changing your oil. Literally everything that it takes to make the world right. happen is done by the average man. Now, even the opportunity of having a family has been taken from him, right. which is a scary thought because what's going to happen to all these disillusioned men? Well, society collapses when you can't promise men a family. You are not his father. Sorry. Oh, just Ron, get her. Yeah, calm down, babe. It's okay. It's okay. We're all here. We're all here. We're all here. We're all here. I'm here with you. Men are tired of the bullshit. Men are going their own way. Meet her way, the only safe way. Everyone knows women rule the world, yet these same women keep saying they're oppressed. Yet they keep saying we're in a patriarchal society. They keep saying their nonsense that they're fighting for equality when in truth, all they're fighting for is power. Men used to fight against their nonsense before. But now men are saying, yes, we've accepted you as our equals now. Do your thing and we will do our thing. Men are not interacting with women anymore because they know that any interaction with a woman can land them in jail because you never know. The words rapist, creep, have lost their meaning in the mouth of modern women. You can be a creep in this woman's eye just because you walked up to her to ask if she was done using the treadmill at the gym. You can be a creep in another woman's eyes just for shaking a female colleague's hands at the workplace. It's just how these modern women are. Men are just tired of the fucking bullshit. You want to fix your car? You don't need men, fix it yourself. You need help at the gym. I don't want you to call me a creep, so no thank you. Call a female to help you out at the gym. MGTOW men are working on their purpose, trying to give themselves and their families a better life. No romantic relationship in the equation. I was having this MGTOW conversation with a friend. After talking to him about the movement, he said MGTOW movement is a great idea if only it wasn't driven by fear and hatred. Well, as it is now, fear and hatred are both understatements. The men that started the MGTOW movement are men that have been burned by women in the past. Might be through divorce, false accusation, and many more. Why wouldn't they fear women? If say lightning doesn't strike the same place twice. We don't know what else these women have up their sleeves. We're done taking chances with these modern women. These women overdid their feminism movement. It made it clear, even to a blind man, that they don't want to be equal, but they want power. Then my friend said, you can't kill fire with fire. Guys, the only way to win an impossible game is to not play the game at all. Easy as that. Feminism fought for the right to vote, right to education, and the invincible wage gap. They got those rights now. Now it's all bullshit. Feminism has lost its meaning. Chivalry is dead. Traditional women are gone. There is no hope for the world. Men need to go their own way. What will happen to the society? What will happen to the government? Well, the government can go fuck themselves. It's not like the society has the interests of men at heart in the first place. If truly they did have the interests of men at heart, they would have adjusted the divorce laws because most of them were formulated during the 19th centuries when women didn't work or have a way to fend for themselves. So whenever their husbands divorced them, their husband had to take care of them since they couldn't afford anything on their own. These divorce laws are now irrelevant because women are now in the workforce, dominating it. Now they can take care of themselves. Of course men win divorce cases too, only when the wife has more money than the husband. But we all know women rarely marry down because of their biology, hypergamy. Women marry up. So men winning in the divorce court is 1%. You can be a nice man, do everything right. Follow the nonsense they say, happy wife, happy life. Fast forward seven years. Your wife can just wake up and say she doesn't love you anymore and she'll get rewarded for leaving you. Or shall I say she can even cheat on you and get rewarded for it? The world was still okay in 2019. Western women were the only problem. Third world countries are now copying these Western women. It is over. It's just a matter of time for the passport bros to understand that women are the same all over the world. These Western female celebrities are their role models. They are copying their lifestyles. It is what it is. There are still a few good women, but think about this, if 80% of people are good, 
and 20% of people are bad in a society, it means the society is bad. If you think you'll be able to find the 20% good people, you might get burned by the 80% bad people. That's a high probability of getting burned. So why risk being burned? The same goes for women. There are still a few good women, but why gamble your future? Why gamble your wealth? These women say this movement is oppressive. Me Toe isn't oppressing women like feminism is oppressing men. We're just on our own. If we're cowards for living our best lives alone, and so be it. Call us cowards. This movement doesn't mean men don't have sex anymore. No, this movement wasn't about a lack of sex to begin with. Me Toe men still have sex, but they treat women as plates now. No commitment, no alimony fee, and no child support. That's all for today on manhood. Don't forget to smash the like and subscribe buttons and also click on the notification bell to be the first to know when I drop a new video. If you find value in my videos, you can show your support through PayPal or Cash App. The links are in the description. See you next time. Cheers.